All right, guys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to be demystifying uh, using Pulse Audio with Jack Audio using the also in and also out commands to provide additional jack inputs and outputs for uh, your patching pleasure. In order to uh, use this tutorial, you're going to have to have Jack D2 installed and Patchage installed. Two very important programs. Um, I'll make another video on how to install those um, for those that need it. I'm just not going to do it at this particular time. As you can see, it's 5.30 in the a.m. and that's just the way kind of things go around here. Um, so I am running a uh, Ubuntu Budgie off a external drive, so everything's going to take a little longer to load up, but that'll give me some time to explain some things as time goes on. So this is kind of what you want to end up with, and uh, I'll show you how to build this from start, start to finish. It's not that hard. The first thing I always do is I replace this line here. We always want to use Jack D2. We do not want to use Jack. If if you're uh, running Jack and how you can tell if you're running Jack is you do uh, grep AX. I'm sorry. PS AX uh, grep Jack. You want to make sure that the only thing that you're running is Jack D bus auto, which is Jack D2. Um, if it running Jack D um, kill it and get rid of it um, for me it doesn't work you know you, you may get it to work for you but it just doesn't work for me all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my script here and then... I'm going to restart. Um, very important, always close all the audio information before you start and stop jack. That prevents things from crashing and you're basically removing the sound system underneath all the programs that you have open and that usually doesn't result in anything good. All right, so it's, as you can see, killing jack audio uh, killed my recording so I'll just have to remember that to create a new one um, every time I uh, do that well anyway okay so uh, I got Jack Audio restarted and uh, this is without my uh, without the script I'm going to teach you how to make the script so don't worry about it at this particular time this is the basic what most people look at uh, minus the simple screen recorder. Um, you have a sync and you have the system. Now system is uh, the only thing that system means it doesn't mean that's the only thing you can use. It doesn't mean anything. That's just what you have said here is going to show up as system in package. Other than that it has no other relevance it, it really doesn't and I'm gonna I'm gonna prove that to you in just in just a little bit so basically in order to get things working what I want you to do is I want you to open up a command line and we're gonna do a cat PROC a sound for also sound and cards these names right here are the names that you're gonna need the reason why you want to use these names is you don't want to use hardware numbers because USD devices change numbers often. If you actually use the name of the adapter or name of the sound card or the adapter or whatever you're trying to do, um, it doesn't matter what the hardware device number is. It just goes by the name and that way USB devices can easily be assigned. So if we keep that open here, and uh, bring it, I'm going to bring up my script that I created, and I'll explain it to you uh, one by one. 
All right, the first two commands are pulse audio command, set default sync, jack out, set default source, jack in. All that does is change in the sound settings here. It changes them to these here. Changes that to jack sync, changes that to jack source. That's all that does um, automatically. All right. So the next ones I, I do a sleep to just to give it a, a second to change them, you know, because there is a little a little lag time there. So these are the main commands you got to worry about. Also in stands for also input. Also out stands for also output. The dash J just stands for the name that it's going to show up in uh, package as, or the name that's going to show up as a, uh, the Jack name. Uh, uh, dash D hardware card equals whatever name comes up here chroma adapter creative NVIDIA whatever whatever your, your system is going to be completely different now if you need to specify a sub device you just put dev all in caps and whatever device one two three four five six whatever uh, personally, I don't need to do that. And the slash R rate for 4100 is just the sample rate. Uh, this right here, uh, output to dev.null, just basically throws all of the output of that particular also in command into the garbage. And the and sign allows you to continue to the next also in command. So as you can see, I'm going to have one called microphone, which I'm sorry, which is my uh, microphone condenser mic. Uh, headset mic, which is what I'm using now. Rocksmith, which is me and my uh, guitar cable. Also out, creative out is my analog speakers. And headset out is the Chroma uh, headset that I'm using now, speakers. So I have two outputs, I have three inputs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and restart Jack with the script and loaded, right? And that is right here. Basically, you just create the script, name it .sh, right click on it, go to properties, go to permissions, uh, make it executable right here. That'll allow you to run it within Jack Audio and then you just load it into there. Not very difficult. All right, so let me go ahead and save this recording and then uh, I will restart to execute the script after startup. And then uh, I'll create a new recording. All right, so it looks like we're back up. It looks like the percentages is there. I forgot to uh, click the little box. So, all right, so let's continue this here. We'll open up package and uh, show you what that script does. Now, once you get the, the uh, Jack audio devices within Jack, there's lots of different things that you can do with them. Uh, you can see, already see a microphone kicking up there. All right, so... Now, here's the devices that the script created. Now, the reason why it didn't create any of the chromas is because they are system, because they are they are located in anything that's uh, here is going to be called system. So my chroma headset is system, right? System playback, system capture. This is the microphone. This is the playback. So, for example, I like to put a I know this is a kind of weird, but I'm going to put that in the middle. So, for example, if I want to uh, output to both my Chroma headset and my creative output, which is here, right? 
All I do is just connect it to the sink. And uh, I'll bring up uh, some music or something. Some music that we actually created so I don't get no copyright strikes. And uh, what this will do will output to both the system, which is my Chroma headset, and my analog speakers out, which I have turned down until uh, I'm ready to show you here. So as soon as the music opens, we'll go ahead and I'll show you how that particular works. There it goes. All right, you should be able to hear that. I'm going to take off my headset. And then I mistook your comfort in my arms for feeling safe. I don't know if you can let you too far into my So I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it was actually playing playing both through the Chroma headset and through the analog speakers at the same time. You can do the same thing with the uh, the capture system of if I wanted to capture my Rocksmith guitar at the same time as my microphone, I just basically connect it in, send it to mono, send it to both, and it would blend those two together into an input. Or if I wanted to, uh, I don't know, let's try something that I can actually... Uh, this is my uh, condenser mic for my podcasting. And I'll just throw it into pause audio and say, hello, can you hear me? I don't know if you can or not because I can't hear it because I, I don't have it looped back in. But that's basically it. So just to give you a quick rundown, the first place you want to look is you want to do... Uh, a cat space forward slash proc forward slash a sound for also sound slash cards. That will give you the card names right here. Right. Then what you do is you create a shell script. Which is called, I call it afterload just because naming conventions here. And then we're going to open that and go to display and uh, set the default syncs. That's always a good idea. Do a sleep of one or two. Also in sets all the microphones. As you can see, we put these side by side. Also in microphone is right here. Also in headset mic is actually not going to show up because it is system. Rocksmith is here, Creative Out is here, and Headset Out is going to show up as System because that's where we have set here. These two, whatever you set here is going to show up as System and it's not going to be added under the name here. It's just it's going to be called System. And then after that, you can just basically kind of do whatever you want. Um, once it once jacks up and going, you can unplug your system and plug it into something else without a problem. Um, so that's all I got for you now. If you guys have any questions, just please leave it below. I will uh, edit this together and uh, hopefully it'll save you days and days and hours and hours of heartache and trouble because I could not find anything um, as easy as this to, to show you how to do what I wanted to do. All right, guys. Take it easy.